Google's Gemini 2.5 Pro is now number one on the Elon Arena leaderboard. It also offers a dramatically large context window, 1 million tokens, and with plans to expand to 2 million tokens. However, those are not the most important reasons that I started paying more attention to Gemini as a frequent user of ChatGPT in cloud. The most important reason is that now Google has made Gemini 2.5 deeply connected to the entire Google ecosystem. Think Google search engine, Gmail, Google Docs, YouTube, and many others. If you're new here, my name is Elle. All right, you can see Gemini 2.5 Pro is pretty much the lead number one model in all different categories, text generation, web dev, vision, search, of course. One feature I must highlight is that starting with Gemini 2.0, Google search is available as a tool. And this means that the model can decide when to use Google search. Now, this is really helpful. If you have used ChatGPT or cloud, then you know that there's always an option to tick web browsing or internet search. And that's one layer of decision-making that can be removed if we're using Gemini now. All right, let's go to gemini.google.com and I got pro plan. So Gemini actually offers the first month for free. So it's a great time to give it a try. I've seen tons of videos from other tutorials that YouTubers, and they're saying that the free version is for you to explore like a hundred times, not apparently. At least from my one data point experience here. But the good thing is they do offer first month for free. Now let's try our first example. So I have a McKinsey state of the AI report in 2025, and I don't have time to read this 26 page report with both text and graphs. So I'm asking Gemini to help me. What are the main findings in this report and highlight counterintuitive points and actionable. So let's make sure we click on canvas. Okay, I think I do like the summary. It offers five points of counterintuitive findings, interesting workforce impact, not necessarily negative. IT delegation is a pitfall. Simply delegating AI implementation to IT is often a recipe for failure. Interesting. But still, Canvas did not work. How about let's try a new one. Design an interactive visualization for me to understand the Pareto which is also 80-20 rule in Canvas. Let's see whether this time it can work. Still not. Oh, all right. So it might be a bug that the Canvas, after you select it, will turn blue, but in the middle of working on it, it grayed out. So I was like, it didn't work, but actually it turned back to blue. Okay, is this one wrong? There was a problem when running your code. So I'm just gonna click fix error. I'm glad it can figure out problems and solve correcting. So yes, in this demo, you're not going to see something like everything is super smooth and magic trial and error. A realistic demo, this is. The Pareto principle states that for many outcomes, roughly 80% of consequences come from 20% of causes. Now I think we can adjust alpha skew factor here. When alpha is smaller, the distribution get more extreme. When more higher, we get a more even distribution. But this is not a stats class, even though I taught stats in the past. Very few people actually know the Pareto principle, the distribution behind the 80-20 rule. So it's not just some old saying, it's based on probability and statistics. I think this graph is really cool, given that one shot try and it, well, wow, it's self-corrected. And I can share this canvas interactive visualization. Very nice. The second example, still 2.5 Pro. Let's ask a grand question. What are emerging trends in AI and learning industry? Such a big one. Let's also click on canvas submit. That's pretty cool. And if that's a pro answer, given that I just asked a pretty grand question without any specific instructions. And it summarized 10 emerging trends. 
that I think are highly relevant, but it's a little bit generic and less mostly on me because my question is large and vague. Now, if we click on create, we can generate an infographic, quiz, audio view, or even web page. Now, I do want to try again without Canvas because there's a function, because there's a new feature that is only available if you do not use Canvas mode. Okay, if we do Canvas mode, it's much faster. And it actually listed all these hyperlinks. Now, this demonstrates the strong search power capabilities of Google for sure. Okay, here's what I wanted to share. If you scroll down, click on the three dots. Okay, there's a double check response. We click on it. Gemini will evaluate the generated output with the actual search results. And you see some of the text are highlighted in grain. That just means these are verified through a search. So Google search found content that's likely similar to the statement highlighted in grain. Google search found content that's likely different from the statement or it didn't find relevant content. Okay, so in grain, which is good, I think it's really convenient if we wanted to find the exact details of things like specific dates, numbers, especially historical figures that will become really handy that will know where the model may have hallucinated. Okay, moving on to the third example, I talked about the Google ecosystem. It's not only because you can directly import your files from your Google Drive, but also other Google products. And here, let's say, let's type at, and look at that. I want to try Google Flights. Find me the cheapest round trip flight tickets from New York City to Paris in October, 2025. Oh wow, look at that. The cheapest one is only $387, wow. I mean, I was not planning to in October, but now I'm intrigued. And what I like most about this is that you don't have to worry about hallucination. You can click on it to double check right away. Okay, so yes, if the date is October 16th, then yes, $387 round trip. Okay, what about YouTube? Find me videos that share tips on how to work productively productively from home. Let's see what's going to happen. Okay, that's pretty nice. And the last example. So make sure we click on deep research and canvas, I would. Okay, deep research. And looks like we cannot deep research in canvas. So let's just select deep research. Now, if it's a deep research, we want a big topic. I'll try something I don't know. Please share emerging trends in the AI and tourism industry. Highlight opportunities for everyday travelers. So it first put together a research asking us to see if we want to just go ahead or we want to edit the plan. This is, this is pretty handy. I'm not an expert in this field, so I'm just going to start research. And I think it's just starting a canvas regardless. I really like that. It listed all the websites it referred to. Here are actually the AI's thinking process highlighted. And you see that it consulted these websites for the initial focus, and then it did all these thinkings and start researching other websites. It's kind of nice. It says, great, I'm on it. I'll let you know when the research is finished. You can leave this chat in the meantime. And AI and tourism is just a topic I am genuinely interested in, but do not have time to dig deeper into. If I were to conduct this research and manually going through hundreds of websites, it would take me at least hundreds of hours. And if we click on the link, we can actually see what websites that the AI is reading from. Now here, if you click the arrow here, from show thinking to it researched 60 websites. And then again, Google is really realizing powerful search functions in their generative AI models. Okay, so even though 
It seems like we have deep research and canvas at the same time, but selecting deep research means you automatically also selected canvas function. Okay, this is the report AI's Ascent into New Horizons for the Modern Traveler. It has an executive summary. Hmm, I get that executive summary, introduction, emergent, and where does the 4.1 come from? I guess, okay, there's a slight format mismatching, but that's what itinerary planning, personalized AI travel agent, smarter spending. Okay, that's not extremely new. Enhanced safety and safety as a protective companion. That's interesting. Real-time alerts, crisis management assistance, streamlined security process. Now let's try infographic. Oh wow, down. Ascent in tourism, charting new horizons for the modern traveler. Our new travel co-pilot. They look at this infographic very nicely and professionally designed. Here and there's, I mean, looks like a landing page for this report. You can easily share this with your colleagues, your friends. I think you can save decision makers, whether it's yourself or your boss, a lot of time. And that's all for today's demo. It's been pretty fun. I started using the free account and then had to sign up for the pro plan, but good news, it gives you first month free. And I think I am pretty satisfied with my experiments, even though there are some hiccups. And please do share your feedback in the comment section below. See you in the next video.